All right, welcome back to another Learn Python by Example tutorial. In this tutorial, um, we're going to go ahead and check if the uh, URL has our keyword in it for like pretty URLs. Uh, suggested that you have your keyword in your URL, so we're going to check that. Um, before we do that, let's go ahead and commit our changes to Git. So we'll do Git, oops, gotta be, Git add period, and then Git commit. Uh, M and shit, I don't remember what we did last one. Uh, title length, I believe it was. There we go, and we made our changes. Anyhow, um, all right, back in our program. Uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, things bugging out. Let's go ahead and get check the URL so let's go ahead and do uh, define SEO underscore URL ooh, URL and it's gonna take one argument URL and if you remember correctly we do get URL up here the user puts in the URL all right so that's the URL we're gonna use so down here we're gonna define a function SEO SEO URL and we're gonna find out the keywords in there. So first off, let's just do if URL, if it exists, then do something. And we'll do if keyword in URL, all right? So we're gonna use if the keyword's in the URL so that in um, operator will check to see if the keyword exists mm -hmm. in the URL. So we'll do a slug is equal to your keyword was found in your slug all right um then we'll do an else statement else and we'll do a uh, slug is equal to your keyword was not found in your slug it is suggested to add your keyword to your slug Boom. All right. Um, and then we need an else statement for our first if statement, and that's going to be else, and we'll say slug is equal to. Um, our program won't actually run if we do this, but uh, later down the road, if we change it, uh, for example, if we allow the computer to go through and search the whole website and do run these tests on every URL, then um, maybe if like a URL that was spit back wasn't found, then we'll return something like this. But as of right now, it wouldn't work without a URL. So let's go ahead and just return slug. And down here, we'll just print our slug information. So we'll do um, print. And then we'll do SEO underscore URL. And that will take one argument of URL, not that URL. And well, now we'll run it. So we'll say, oops, I didn't want to do that. Um, that's what I want. So we'll do uh, HTTP Google.com and we'll do uh, Google. And it says your keyword was found in your slug. All right, cool. Um, all right, so let's try something different real quick. Let's run that again. And this time we're going to say HTTP Google. And we'll say our keywords Python, just make sure it doesn't find it. Your keyword was not found in your slug, suggest so that you add your keyword to your slug. All right, cool. So we'll clear the screen. And you know what? We're just going to roll into the next one. I think um, the next one I want to think about doing is the length of the URL. Because I did read something, the URL should be less than a hundred characters so let's just do that one real quick um so we'll do uh define a function seo 
URL length. And it'll take one argument URL. We'll do if URL, if URL exists. Then we'll do if len function on URL is less than 100 characters. We're going to do something. So we're going to do URL length. And we'll do uh, your URL is less than. Oops, I need is less than. The recommended less than the hundred character maximum suggested uh, length. Now we'll just put good work, just so I remember if that's good or bad. Um. Bum, bum. And then down here we'll do uh, else, and we need an else statement. So same thing. URL length is equal to your URL length is over 100 characters. And let's go ahead. Your URL currently is and we'll format this format len url so now this will return the length and we probably should put a period here and say you should change this that works all right and we need one more if, or else statement down here for the if URL doesn't exist. So else, and we'll just do URL underscore length is equal to uh, was not found, something like that. And then down here. Got return URL. Return URL length. And then we'll just do our length. We'll do print SEO. Oops. SEO underscore type. Nope. URL length. Man, I am retarded today. URL length. Oh, crap. I'm trying to get it autocomplete for me because I'm lazy and it's making more work for myself. And then we'll add URL as an argument. Let's run the program. So we'll do uh, Python. Uh, I'll just push up. So HTTP googly.com. And we'll do dog. So our keyword is not found. We found those stop words. Your length is for your title is under the maximum suggested 60 characters. Your keyword was not found in your slug. It suggests that you add a keyword. Your URL is less than 100 characters of the maximum suggested length. Good work. Whew. Now let's see if we can find a URL that is longer. That doesn't look longer. Uh, I probably won't be able to find one. Let me search. If I do a Google search, maybe that's a hundred or more. <laughs> uh, let's try Python. All right, so queries. Uh, that is, I thought it would be longer. Uh, oh, there's an extremely long one. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Well, let's go ahead and run it. I don't know if it's over 100 characters, but try it. Um, it's pretty long. Cat. What? 
All right, so we got a, a URL lib dot error dot HTTP error HTTP error four three hint forbidding door and handling the above exception another exception was revised name error HTTP errors not defined oh boy all right so the HTTP error four three forbidden not letting us crawl something for some reason. Um, I was trying to avoid doing this, but let's do a request is equal to, um, we're gonna have to import request. Import request after URL open. Just like that, we'll do request, and then we're gonna do um, URL comma. We're gonna change the headers. Uh, I think it's a dictionary. Um, we're gonna change our user agent to something. Uh, change it to Missoula. Forward slash the five. I'll try six point oh. I don't remember. And then we'll put a request variable in here. Let's see. That works. Basically, what happened was. Google blocked us from crawling their site, and we want to see if that is a problem. Uh, cat. Yeah, that was the issue. All we have to do is give it a user agent, like basically saying who we are. Um, when you when you go to a website uh, with your browser. Um, user agent is your uh, browser so basically what they're doing is just checking to make sure it's a browser and not some other weird thing coming to their website so basically all we say is we're a browser user agent and then Mozilla uh, 4 slash 6.0 I think that I don't know what Mozilla's up to I haven't used it in a while but I remember that one from building a scraper before so that worked. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Don't forget to press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video everywhere to help me out. Anyhow, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we continue to come up with this SEO program. Uh, we got a lot more to cover because there's a lot more to SEO that we should be checking. All right, I'll see you then.